Tokayu here. Welcome back to Tell Me Why. <laughs> so, last episode we visited the grave, or the mother's grave. Had a little chat with Michael because he was he was also uh, visiting his uncle's grave. So, and uh, we talked to Tessa, kind of hash things out a little bit, and well, I chose to forgive her and be like, you know should happen but well you were just concerned about us and you're you're trying to keep us safe so um yeah so there's that so we are just heading back to the house hopefully going to be talking to sam because apparently sam had something to do with something in as well so let's get do it oh i'm gonna fall asleep the second i hit the couch you better rally we still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Oh, <gasps> no! Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Stay there. I got it. <laughs> Baby jump. What happened? What happened? I I there, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? Good question. I don't know. Or we are oh, going to find out. At least he left us the junker. Did he really have to smash everything? I might have found something. Not yet. He went looking under the rug? This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. Asshole even dumped the drawers. What was he looking for? Huh. At least you were spared. At least it wasn't so bad of a fire. Moonhog, huh? At least it wasn't he really so turned this place upside down. So, did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. Okay, so let's now look he at. He went looking under the rug? That's not what I wanted. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So, he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? This guy went on a tear. Yeah, but what was he trying to find? I'm really curious now. I guess we know how he made the hole. I wanna know. I want to know. It has to be Sam. That's my guess. It just it has to be, right? Step back. I'll be fine. It can't be Tessa. It can't be Michael. Or maybe Twist. It was Tom. But I don't know. That has to be hot. Well, I only know one person who bothered to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Three digits. 
Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. So, oh my gosh, please. She opened a second box for his magic sword, which. Fairies! Gotta get your fairies! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spags going to always part of money for Hmm. Oh my gosh, please, why? Finding anything? Just give me a sec. We wrote a shit ton of stories. Yeah, no kidding. Oh my gosh, please. Princess party, shh, probably not. Oh, the ice cave. Ooh, you know what? I wonder. Ooh, maybe. Follow the tracks of a hidden son of two tiny thieves. Are okay. Because it makes new friends. There's a pause. Oh, that, I think he has to be a. Ew, that's a weird. Maybe? No. No. Wait. Look. It's the same symbol. The secret keeper. Well. Okay. I don't know more. But the secret keeper. The secret keeper. Cutting a tree. Da -da -da -da, get it back. Da -da -da -da. What do we do? It's strange. And we have this silver handle, bra hairbrush, blah blah blah. Uh, kind of cities. <laughs> Had to be a mic. <laughs> there are other shots. Da -da -da -da. But why? Okay, they found a pair of food, a pair of mind, blah 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 I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open, and preferably without destroying the box. Hey, doesn't that carving look like the secret keeper from the Book of Goblins? Honomium <laughs> index. Oops. Index. Ah. Er, da, da, da. I helped a friend. Matter. Is his name? Yada da. Yada da. Yada da. Yada da. Yada Maybe. Oops. I hate doing this. It's really annoying. Oh wait, no, this right here. It has to be. Okay, ah, okay, 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 okay. I didn't I didn't even notice the things on the top. 
The silver handled the dryer brush. I want to know more. His cigarettes are near, near. Come to the highest person and miss this guy. The memories, they snatched their hands back out and thrust them boiling water. Just poured out the cheese and a cigarette brought out and crying in the tree. He stole my cigarettes, so then I get in the back. Ah, stop crying because it's all right. I didn't want to go to bed. I gave a little back to the silver hand brush. I offered to exit for so many cigarettes. Pshaw. Yeah, let's offer more than that. What if, said the secret, I shared the gift of voice? The crafty goblins grew excited. That will do. So the secret shared the gift of voice with the goblins and immediately found out they could hear unknown thoughts and other feelings. So he covered the good bit of bed and had it taken. I guess they had taken the wooden house. They found Princess Prime Fruit. They tried to peer into her mind, but they. Well, mine is blank. They tried to speak to her using her minds, but they could not hear them. <laughs> why could, but why they could use it only on each other? I then what? So maybe index, which would be forty-seven. Maybe zero forty-seven. Oops. That wasn't it. I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open. And preferably without destroying the box. Oh, I just... There's nothing in that stupid book. And there's nothing in that... <laughs> nothing in there. Oh, great. More to clean. There's nothing in there that pertains to any... any... anything. So... <laughs> What? How do you suppose? How do you expect me to gleam freaking yeah, three numbers from a story that doesn't include any numbers? Gosh. Let's not waste time. <laughs> Just screw it. Examine. Fuck. That's rough. Read. Marianne, I'm sorry you're in the situation. This, right? this guy tried to push Marianne to get an abortion. Even Can though you... she wanted to keep us. Can you shut up? I'm sorry you're in a situation. I know how you, I know you feel you'd make a great mother, and I don't doubt you will someday, but right now we have to make sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't... Oh... My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. Oh, but I'm mostly worried about you. Oh, people are here ta talking. I don't want you to go have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Dear Marianne, uh, I need to see you again. I know that sounds... I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I chase after all the new girls in Dell's Crossing. I've always taken my vow seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we were together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down the highway with my lights off, and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right for, and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same. Heart symbol. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. He came for these letters. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. Oh, things are about to get so interesting. Oh no, I can, I can run. I don't know about you, 
but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Why are you walking back and forth like that? Stop that. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? This is where I tripped. Damn. He ran straight for it. No stops. No turns. He was on a mission. Oh, no, no, right there. It's right here. The Mad Hunter. Wait, there was someone here that night? In the woods? No, it was just, I, I saw. Who the hell did I actually see? We'll find out. Trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Where is it? Oh, we're here. I was right next to it. Gosh dang it. That was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait! He was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? Gotta find it, gotta find it, gotta find it, gotta find it, gotta find it. Gotta find it, gotta find it. I stuff definitely getting stronger here. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock. About us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah. And that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Just one more time. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How, how can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. Whew, things are... I mean, things have already started out quite woof, but you know, also. Super 
remember! Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! Don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. I told you, I told you that would happen. We almost had it, though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. I'll... I'll try. Remember sword! I don't owe you anything. You've been a little... all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. Let's do it. I'm sorry. But I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is going to change that. Don't go. Please. You can't keep running from this alley. Or it's only going to get worse. Well, I guess that mystery is going to be for later. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison! That makes me think that their memories are, aren't exactly, um, reliable. So, chapter two, huh? What do you know? Just so many more mysteries to un unravel, I guess. I wonder if they're gonna... You know, what, what actually happened that night? Gosh dang it, I really wanna know. Because obviously there's something, something that obviously went terribly wrong that night, but I just, is, were their memories, well, I mean, they're kids, so really? <sighs> there gotta, there's gotta be. I'm so curious. 
Oh, that's end of chap this chapter two. I wonder how many more chapters there are. Okay, Tyler felt relied on when Allison chose his memory at the house. Tyler felt heard about needing time when Allison refused the house showing. Oh. Allison felt hopeful about come becoming a family when Tyler forgave Eddie. Oh. Eddie was touched by Tyler's forgiveness. Michael was heart heartened by Tyler's compliment. Tessa felt grateful the twins kept her in their lives. Okay, well. End of chapter two. So, I... This could be a little bit of a short short episode, but that's okay. <sighs> well, and I guess chapter three is going to be right there in the making. Okay, well... Okay, well that was, uh, I can't, ah, I just want to, I can't, I can't stop playing this, this is, this is very interesting. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode, and, uh, as much as I did, um, sorry I haven't really, like, like I said before, it, I just don't like talking during when pe people are talking, I mean, I might, you know, do little tiny little words here and there, but, whew, anyways. Well, I hope you are ready to un uh, unravel the mystery as much as I am. So, I'll see you in the next episode, and I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye for now.